Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Hillary. Thanks so much for joining me today. Okay, I have an update. This is about Kamala Harris and who is going to be headlining her next campaign. Okay, very interesting. What do you think is her agenda with inviting certain individuals to come to her campaign? Is this all just a tactic? Is this, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts as I'm reading this. Beyonce, Beyonce will appear alongside Vice President Kamala Harris at a rally in Texas on Friday, today. The BBC's U.S. News partner reported, citing a source familiar with the matter. The singer's appearance in her hometown of Houston will take place just 11 days before Election Day on November 5th. Harris often plays Beyonce's song, Freedom, at campaign events, but the singer has so far remained absent from the campaign trail. Earlier this summer, rumors swirled that Beyonce would make an appearance on behalf of Harris at August's Democratic National Convention, but she did not show. Harris is scheduled to speak alongside Texas Democratic Senate candidate Colin Allred on Friday. Country singer Willie Nelson and Beyonce's mother, Tina Knowles, are also set to appear at the event. Beyonce has a long history of endorsing Democratic presidential candidates. In 2016, she performed alongside her husband, Jay-Z, at a rally for the one and the only Hillary Clinton. She has also backed other Democratic candidates, including former President Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012, President Joe Biden in 2020, and Beto O'Rourke when he was running for the Texas Senate seat in 2018. Harris has already earned the endorsement of other famous singers, including Taylor Swift, Bruce Springsteen, Eminem, Cher, Mark Anthony, Lizzo, and Neil Young as well as dozens of other actors and performers. President Donald Trump has also received a number of endorsements from well-known personalities, including Tesla founder Elon Musk, former IndyCar driver Danica Patrick, actor John Voight, celebrity chef Paula Deen, NFL star Brett Favre, and actor Kelsey Grammer, and singers Kid Rock and Kanye West. Celebrity endorsements can often bring a new wave of support to a political candidate and can sometimes get people out to vote. Celebrity endorsements are not always effective, though. Following Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris, a poll from late September indicated that Swift's endorsement of Harris made 9% of respondents more enthusiastic about her candidacy, while it also made 13% less enthusiastic. Taylor Swift, not a good look for you. Maybe you don't want her support on your side. Any hoozles, Beyonce and Kamala Harris today. Interesting. I mean, yeah, anybody can see that that's who Beyonce would, would support, right? But what do you think? What are your thoughts? Who else should be supporting Donald Trump? That's the next question. What's happening on the Joe Rogan, Donald Trump front? Trump and Joe Rogan. BFFs? Potentially. New VP? Probably not. <laughs> I see a lot of those things floating around. Joe Rogan's going to be the next vice president. I don't know about that one, guys. I don't know. I don't know. It'll be interesting, though. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys want to hear next? Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, share this video. Don't forget to vote. Have you already voted? Have you already voted? Bye. <laughs>